Hey guys, and welcome back to Mary J's Natural. So I know it's been a while since I've posted again, but I just wanted to update you guys along my process and journey with chronic hives and how I've been combating it and all of these new things that I found out that have really helped to control my chronic hives while I get to the bottom of it. Now, I've struggled with chronic hives my whole life for the most part, but it come on and off for like every five years or so. Now, when I was younger, I was just able to take like a pack or two of steroids and then it would wipe it out of my system and I'd be fine again to go forward. This bout of hives has lasted me about three years and I've been really working really hard and spending so much money to get to the bottom of what is actually causing chronic hives. Because if I can help people like you, I would be so extremely happy because I know what it feels like to suffer with these autoimmune disease related issues. Um, so this bout of hives really brought so much more knowledge into my database, my mind database. Um, but it actually started because the doctors put me on steroids. I was on them for about two years, which messed up so many different things in my body, including like liver poisoning, like hair falling out, my adrenal insufficiency. So you really do not want to be on steroids long term. And Zolaire, yes, as it may work for some, it is officially a band-aid that is put over chronic hives. Now, there are reasons why chronic hives exist, not just the generic answer that doctors may give you saying it's an unknown autoimmune response. That is not correct, and it is very limited in their thinking. It's, there's like a huge lack of critical thinking in Western medicine. Now, the path that I've been taking is very analytical, and this includes really four different tests. And those tests are very comprehensive and will let you know really a lot of key factors of what may be going on in your body that might be causing not even just your hives, but other problems you may be having as well. And these tests include a GI effects test, which will give you a rundown of all your bacteria in your body, your microbiome, everything that you are, you know, consuming that might be bad, your malabsorption levels, your gut dysbiosis. So it's extremely comprehensive and will help get to the bottom of some of the stuff. Now, the autoimmune system functions from the gut, and that's what made me so mad about Western doctors is they would say, oh, there's no known cause. And I'm like, but if the autoimmune functions from the gut, then let's check my gut. But none of them wanted to. The next test is the mole toxicity test, and I will put, include links to all these tests down below. The mole toxicity test has also been linked to a bunch of chronic illnesses such as asthma, autoimmune responses, mast cell activation, as well as hives, and so, so many more. Um, a lot of people have mole toxicity in their body, they just do not know it, and they go about everyday life thinking that that is how they're supposed to feel. The next one is the Dutch test. And the Dutch test gives you a comprehensive view at all of your adrenal glands. And your adrenal glands incorporate all of your hormones, your testosterone, your cortisol, um, which will be affected if you are taking steroids. It will massively ruin your adrenal system if you are taking prednisone or a comparable to that. So your estrogen levels, how you're methylating different things, if you have too much DHT. Now, I also have another channel on hair loss, as is something I've struggled with ever since getting off the steroids, because it really messed up my adrenal glands, as well as my hormones, which is why my hair is so greasy, guys, because I just did a nice rosemary oiling. Um, and if you are suffering from hair loss, check out my other channel on Hair Honey. It is all these natural tips and tricks to stopping it, as well as regrowth. Okay, but back to the thing. And the last test you want to do is a organic acid test, an oak test. And this gives a comprehensive look into the gases in your body, if you're producing methane, all of these different internal factors that might be playing key roles in your chronic illness. Now that is the number one step to take with chronic hives. Once you guys get those test results back, you can tweak your regimen of what pills you're taking daily to at least control the hives while you work to get whatever issue that came up under control. And for most of you guys, you guys are gonna be, might be surprised, but you're gonna come back with more than just one thing. It might be mole toxicity plus di gut dysbiosis or um, adrenal insufficiency and yeast infection. So you really never know. There's just so many causes of chronic hives, but to take the answer of, oh, we don't know, it's an unknown autoimmune response. Here's a steroid to suppress your immune system is absolutely like, it, it is so limited in their thinking that it actually makes me so frustrated that I do not go to regular doctors anymore. Um, but everything that I have said and it, I am saying is 100% backed by not only case studies, but real time statistics showing that these things can occur from the four main things that I told you guys about. So I will end the video here, guys, and I will continue this series to help you guys with your chronic hives. Some of the next videos I'm going to be doing is letting you guys know what things I have been taking, which are natural and do help to 
stop my chronic hive symptoms while I work on actually fixing the issue of what is causing at least my chronic hives. So thank you guys so much for watching Mary J's Naturals. Make sure to click the likes, click the subscribe, and comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.